Okay, apparently we don't have to worry about hunger anymore, so we don't technically need the melons anymore. Not like we're really using them since we got the legendary skull thing now. See what's going on up here. So we're saying we're not activating. I got NPCs now. Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Fort Atlas. Fort Atlas? Formerly the Atlas Observatory. Now headquarters for the Brotherhood of Steam. What's going on here? Well, this is Fort Atlas. New headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia. The Brotherhood's in the process of getting everything in order here, but already people from all over Appalachia are turning up. Some need help, some want to join, but it seems like everybody's curious what comes next. I just say what Paladin Romani says. We're here to help. Okay, what's your story? Me? Oh, I'm just a guy who wanted to be a part of something special. A place to do something that really mattered. I picked up the messages the Brotherhood were broadcasting on the way here, and I came out ahead to help set up the place, hoping they'd let me join. They liked my initiative, and now I'm an initiate. Nice bit of symmetry, I thought. Come here. Like to know more about the Brotherhood? Of course. What you want to know? Oh wow, I'm blast up there. Uh, what can you tell me about the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel is a, well, I guess you'd call it a military organization. Founded originally out in California around when the bombs fell. We're dedicated to rebuilding society and preserving old technology. Keeping the mistakes of the past from being repeated, you know? One of the members from California can tell you more, I'm sure. What's like being in the ship? I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense, but really, it is. I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful. Building a better world alongside other people who've committed their lives to that cause. Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? Hmm, true. How many Ritherhood is are here. Pretty sure that's strategic information I'm not supposed to just give out to anybody that asks. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Wanted to ask you something else. What do you need? Like to speak somebody in charge? Uh looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. So Welcome to Fort Atlas. Heat. Okay, let's see if all this other stuff.
that stuff off. It's, it's Brotherhood message. Shut up talking. Something else unlock after that, or no? No. Okay. And let's switch back to our breakfast. those I can sell or use Not pretty much doing melee explosive I think let's get two levels yes open eh, one of those are useful Can I get that one perception out and put in something else? So I'll take Slugger out and put our fist rack in. I'm sure artists need to get that up. Or in Scissor. Pulling pack rat up. Uh, I, mean, I need to get the backpack thing for traveling pharmacy and get that gone. You're technically, I'm just sell all the cams possibly. Since I'm using the survival ones. I'm using this and it's almost maxed. I need 150 coins to get that up more. Yeah, I think the armor pen's more important. There's only one card for unarmed, basically. So I don't see any others for unarmed. There's Iron Fist, and that's literally it. It's so shotguns and two hands and one hands. I'm thinking about joining up, getting in on the ground floor. How about you? 
But nothing else for punching. It's very odd. I'd like to get Barbarian up. Maybe 40 extra uh, damage resistance. Yeah, you can't go below one. Damn. I need the charisma where it's at. I know how to fix. So what can I get rid of? I kind of need true hikers. I want the XP food. That's a must. That's a must. That's a must. And these two I can... Armor, power, armor, and maximum. This I don't need on until I need it. So these two are going to be swapped out. I do want the more XP though. I think I need intelligence for something later too. Serendipity is extremely handy but not Plan on going that low in health. Those are all musts. That's definite must. I could take a two luck. You what buying this piece of these can I ideas use? these brotherhood types are putting down? Skeletons are all good. Hmm. Fire Pierce really good. Ironclad be really good. Life Generator really good. Well, I'm not gonna be doing rad, so. Yeah. So it'll be five. It'll just be fifty extra defense. So could put four points that. Hmm. How did I think about that? Yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Don't need that. Or that. That's kind of useful. Thinking of doing maybe uh, stealth melee. Also, that'd be really good. Would like to run faster. Or whatever it takes. Oops, I'm done. Eh. So if I look too far here, that goes off. <laughs> I have real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Mike. Your objections are noted. 
But this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect yeah. nothing less from you. As you were, Shannon. Paladin. Isn't that he's snooty? All this concrete is like a tomb. Oh. Okay. Fortifications appear at not now. Not in City's Brotherhood, Jerks. Listen to me. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I'm not in Brotherhood yet. Stole your mug. Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. Military grade heart. Civilians are Wink. supposed to wait to be seen. Yeah, I'm just taking your crap. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. We haven't been introduced. Knight Daniel Shin, Brotherhood of Steel, First Expeditionary Force. We've got important work to do here, so get to the point. Are you fighting with the other officer? That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian, and none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. Sure. Russell well, uh, Dorsey sent me to talk to you? Giddy. Initiate Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. What are the brothers uh, doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxim. Stay out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Are we to mean to join the Brotherhood? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. Are you recruiting new initiates? That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. I don't think of no greater honor than joining the Noble Brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. Okay. Sure, I can do that. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly. And we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. This is a security office, not a social club. If you're not finished, get back to work. New recruits, Night Shin's training. You better have something useful to say to me. Night Shin asked me to talk to you. Oh, can't even come to me himself? 
What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right. You be cool, Sean. So, what's he got to say to me? Do you tell me more about yourself? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. Tell me what your problem is. The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, uh -oh. I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe, I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Night should know everything. First, though, I have more questions. All right. What else did you want? Are you sure they were Brotherhood? Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility to fix this. They had the power armor and they said they were Brotherhood. Sorry I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Did you really become a raider? Because of this? Listen, I don't have much, but what's mine is mine. And these people took that from me. The Brotherhood pretends like they're noble, but then they let this happen? In their name? Raiders don't act like something they're not, and at least the gangs defend their own. Come down here. Then tell them, and get them to do something about it. Okay. Keep fighting out there. See a bunch more than here. Find, protect, and preserve. This place will sound all in for it. Mark my words. Yeah, that's the smooth arm. It's better. This place is kind of a dump. <laughs> Look Sweet. at the lab roach dragged in. Space land drummer. Military grade hardware. More commonly amongst the ones from California. If I don't sleep tonight, I can get lots of trees. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas. I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. What is it you do? Farming, such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than scald. But it's mine, and I manage. Mm -hmm. You've been waiting long? Longer than I prefer. 
These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. They ain't the only one neither, I see. So Dershin asked me to speak to you. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? Isn't your farm in danger while you're away? Got seed in the ground right now. I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds. So I reckon it will get by till I'm back. Tell me more about yourself? Ain't much to tell. Been a farmer one way or another. All my life. Daddy before me and so on. Set up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out... There's plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it. But neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. So that's to find out what you wanted from the brother. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Like that don't make them raiders too. Well, I ain't got much. I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra. I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these <laughs> steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Get this word along. That's more questions. Uh, I'm not going anywhere just yet. Shoot. Then turning over your crops be just as bad as them being taken. Before they bombed the daylights out of everything, folks used to pay taxes in exchange for. The government doing what it was supposed to do. Raiders will just take everything. That's true. This is a trade. Fair is fair, and a deal's a deal. I ain't care for people poking their noses into my business, but if a bushel or two to these brotherhood keeps the raiders away, I can live with it. Okay. See you around. Could be. I should be getting back to work, so get at it if you're gonna. As long as I make them. Under this I don't know what a gauss is, but there's a gun that shoots those. I want it. <laughs> Look what the rad roach dragged in. The efficiency Rude. of Brotherhood response to visitors is it's too loud. Lacking. Hey, yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to uh... around here? You know, about the guns. You don't look like one of these Brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? Um. Uh... Where'd you go? She's a magician. I imagine the Brotherhood will object to a collection of blood sounds from any towns. Shame. Hey! Yeah, you. <laughs> you, you don't look like one of these brothers. Are you? I just told you, dummy. Tally Lane. Just uh, another chick trying to make it in the wasteland. You know? Well, the makeup on the eyes, you look like a raider. You seem a little anxious. Who, uh, me? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. Hey, Shin, that sent me to speak to you. Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? 
Oh, right. I think he's got any he sticks up his butt. What's your story? Oh, um, I'm just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty yeah, scary out, that out there. Just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. We're practically just kids. We gotta grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns. These brothers She's definitely a raider. Scare off all the maniacs out there. Tell you're not a raider, are you? <laughs> what? Me? A raider? No. Yeah, no, right. No, you're no, a raider. No. A little old me? Don't be silly. Raider. Raider. So I take it, guns is what you have after. Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now all the talk in the area is about these brotherhood folks with their high tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect Greater. ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Sure. Some more questions. Why not? Hit me. I would. Be honest with me. Why do you want these guns? Hey, you calling me a liar? I'll. Yep. I, I mean. Sir. I yep. already told mm -hmm. you. My friends and I just need them for self defense. We'll pay good caps. Yeah, Take yeah, whatever. Back to the food. What is it now? Hey, hey, here comes. Yes. Trouble. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. No need to be rude. Pardon my manners. I am out of practice. Too much time alone. Still, unless this is important, I would prefer. She teleports around a lot. I was going to speak to Knight Shin for you, if you want to be like that. Perhaps I spoke too hastily. I can be rather unthinkingly brusque. Doctor Edgar Blackburn, at your service. Are you working with this Knight Shin? What has he said to you? Tell me more about yourself. I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about himself. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. <laughs> you asked me to find out what you wanted? I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made. But from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Any more questions for you? Very well. What did you wish to know? Can you tell me about your research? It would be difficult to express it in layman's terms. No offense intended. Try me. In essence, I have been studying the illnesses of Appalachia. For too long, people have relied on folk remedies and makeshift medicines. The long-term effects of this environment are concerning. Just because the radiation is survivable does not mean it is safe. True. Are you working with Foundation? Their hygiene standards are better than the lot at Crater, but no. I prefer to work in solitude. One day, perhaps, my research will be of benefit to them and all the other people of Appalachia. That's all I need. Very well, then. Perhaps we can be of assistance to one another, should our paths cross again. 
Hey, hey, here comes trouble. I hope. All this concrete Giggity. places like a tomb. Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. But I gave you a job. Have you finished the task I gave you? We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild. I spoke to them. Take the old and forge it anew. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high level overview. Alright. Let's see. John was robbed by people claiming to be Brotherhood. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. What matters is he believes it. Should help him out. And she wants to find who these people did it. Yeah, that's fine. There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hawkman's problems are his own, not ours. Give me your next report. Mm, I don't like that. Alright, Kravlau wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from raiders. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. This is my place, my mission. Sounds like a failed year to me. That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We, get that mutation we have our me. own concerns. Enough about that. Problem. What's next? One day, Dr. Blackburn one is looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. Hmm. It could be good for everyone if you helped him. Our job is to procure and protect technology, not fund civilian scientists in developing it. If the doctor's research proves dangerous, then the Brotherhood will take a very pointed interest. Until then, it is his problem. Order. Order. Next report. Protection. Tylong wants to jump by no, again. We are not arms dealers. I think she might be an actual raider. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. That covers everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment and grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Few recruits, night shoes training, weapons on a base like this. We're gonna be invincible. Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. They're really not going to help any of them. What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And what your concern in the matter ends protection. here. I have everything I need here. Thanks, do that. Be vigilant, outsider. I 
Nice. 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 Protect and preserve. Courage. This war drum is kind of cool. Yeah, fancy. She can kind of sell. Keep fighting out there. I'm never gonna make a name for myself holding down the fort. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? Well, you're gonna be the first one found dead. Yeah, that kind of attitude. I could stand the sight. Don't mind me just stealing your ish. Find, protect, and preserve. Find, take, and scrap. You took your precious story that paper. So we gotta take a poo, I mean Ew. The old world has so much to teach us. Why didn't I see it before? Calibrate this, tighten that. Ooh, broken air. Old world science solved a lot of problems back in the day, but look what else it wrought. We'll make Atma stronger than Fort Defiance ever was. <laughs> Go home. Let us take care of things here. Shut up. Be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night. I will not allow Atlas to go the way of Fort Can I go somewhere? Huh? We're here to stay. So it's down here. This order is to be expected to break that last brotherhood over stones. Still, this is. We have to cut ourselves. Do you need something? Yeah, all your ish. Ain't it over. I need to remind Scribe Bell 
death to retrieve my power armor. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, are you even supposed to be here? Mm, are you even supposed to be alive? Cause I'm remedy that. Just saying. This is how much they've managed to rebuild here, in spite of the scorched plague. Learning, protection. I have everything I need here. Take all your toilet paper. Okay, now I'll talk to you. Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? We'll make Atlas stronger than Fort Defiance ever was. About the Shin guy, he said to talk to you about getting in on this Brotherhood action. Or I want to join up. Night Shin said you may need some help. Oh, a prospective initiate. The Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? What's this mission exactly? Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Okay, deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Take the old and forge it anew. Mm, a few questions. All right, fire away. Is this kind of thing normal for a scribe? Ideally. Yes, actually. In practice, not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. You don't sound thrilled with your role. Can I do it? Yes. But it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. I... <laughs> Night Shin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Business only. Okay. Why not just bring one of the initiates? Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well, and I'll be happy to vouch for you. Hmm. Can I get a look at those logs you were talking about? Not as a civilian. However, if Paladin Romani lets you join our ranks, then I might reconsider. Especially if you're a big help on this mission. Okay. Sure. Ready to go? I'm ready. Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. You yeah, do. Uh, we're exactly Ah, there we go. Protect and preserve. Ah. Is there a bed here? There's some. Up. Yeah, there we go. How can I find time to study our history with all this maintenance work piling up? 
Well, at least get our little XP buff here. I don't see any instruments to get the AP though. I kind of wish these things were standard three hours instead of one hour. Guard our tech closely. Another invention. You're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Uh, reading a schematic is a good first step in a problem solving process. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. Okay. Well, that's not good. Damn, those things were over. On the bag of cement's gonna be really heavy. Hopefully, I ran into a scrapping thing. Of course, I whiffed that. This is lead scientist. We recovered some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. This looks like what we need. Very good. Here's a document. One. 
Definitely not seeing Good place to craft. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. Uh, Chris mate, I'll let you let this much slip. You may as well give me the full explanation. I guess you're right. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. Kind of like Nickel World was. Uh, thanks for filming me. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? Okay. Are we looking for the diagnostic test? So I think wiring should be first. These are the wires like the blood vessels of the machine. Without the electricity running through them, nothing's going to work. We just need to do a little checkup and see what condition they're in. The diagnostics test can tell us the state of some key components that we won't be able to test manually. Keep an eye on the state of each component, and we'll want to look into them after the initial check. The release valve is an emergency mechanism that can relieve pressure on the intake pipes if they come under stress. If all is well, we'll just be able to turn it, and nothing out of the ordinary will happen. Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details, and we'll discuss how it goes after. Yeah. Diagnostic. Wiring. Looks like we've got company. Shredded. Time at the firing range. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Let's start a cranberry rush for a while. 